fam if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now and lock in right follow me on instagram at income cam hit that notification bell too so you can be notified when i drop game on this channel i drop a lot of game on this channel if you've been tapped in since day one and you done picked up a lot of game and if you just now tapping in go back to day one and you know pick up some game and we're gonna be giving a lot more game going into 2024 and beyond so make sure you tap in hit the notification bell subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram at income cam and check this out tap in the up your income.net the link is below up your income.net if you're ready to level up your financial status if you're ready to change your life if you're ready to elevate if you're ready to run those plays secure that bag in 2024 then tap in up your income.net and trust me man you'll join a ton of like-minded individuals who you know they're running up bags they even had one of my students who Got to prove for seventy thousand dollars in one day, and that could be you, right? If you tap in right now, now check it out. Over the past year, I've been giving out crazy game, and in a day, I'm gonna give out some game too, right? Check this out. If you're ready to lock in, let's go. Make sure you got your notepad out, cause I'm about to, I'm about to spill some game on y'all today, man. You know, income count, the people's champ. This is what I do. Now today, I want to talk to y'all about DSCR loans, or non-QM loans, or non-qualified mortgage loans or entrepreneur loans or statement loans or whatever you want to call them right i'm also put my loan broker in the video at the end if you stick around i'm gonna plug you in with the loan broker to help you get a non-qm loan or a statement loan right to secure high-end and luxury properties so check this out now you you guys see i've been dropping a lot of videos and a lot of content and a lot of lives on instagram about short-term rentals right and how you can scale up to twenty thirty thousand dollars even forty thousand dollars with one property on short-term rental by leveraging airbnb booking.com expedia and a ton more platforms right if you missed that video that i put out about short-term rentals and airbnb tap in right i even showed you guys a full tour of a 5.1 million dollar house that we own so make sure you tap in to that video right it's a ton of gems inside and i'm showing you guys how to really leverage that and turn it into cash flow monthly cash flow right and check this out i put y'all on game on on how to secure funding right secure capital if you're a credit repair agent right and i had you know a couple people that didn't really understand the concept but didn't like the concept because you know they're not getting money people but you know you guys are getting money people you guys are winners and you understood the concept when i broke it down right and the numbers clearly stated if you know you have a credit repair agency then you know you can take a hundred of your clients multiply that times fifty thousand uh, and get a half a million dollars in approvals right so now you have down payments and you have um uh, proof of funds right to be able to secure properties right but i'm gonna take it a step further showing you how to get those loans right how to get those big loans right a lot of times banks won't finance loans over 2.5 million dollars right so if you're trying to secure a house or a property over 2.5 million dollars then you want to tap in to the non-qm loan now i brought my brother shark right 44 shark i brought him on i went on a ride i talked to my brother 44 shark and i'm about to play the clip with my brother 44 shark dropped a lot of game on non-qm loans so check this out right now check it out got my boy 44 shark you know what i'm saying i had to tap in with my brother 44 shark talk to me about the about the dscr loan bro i'm on telling them about the statement loans and the dscr loans you know, to jump into this, into this real estate game and start making some money with these short-term rentals. So basically what's going on with the DRCR loans, man, we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, you see, it's different between DRC loans because they run their loans basically off the, uh, you know, the cash flow. So they're going to run the DCR loans based off how many units you got. The cash flow pays for the loan. So basically, if you got five units, uh, let's say you're making twelve hundred dollars a unit, they're gonna go ahead and you know fund you on the loan based off you know the cash flow. So see what's gonna happen is you know that's why you don't need tax returns and something like that. That's why they just want you know anywhere from ten to twenty percent down because they're gonna have based off the cash flow of the loan. So DCR stands for debt service covered ratio. So basically, you on top of your interest rate. You're gonna get a uh, you're gonna get a debt service coverage ratio rate, which it starts at usually like 1.2, and that is factored into your loan. So that's what that's what DCR loan comes from, right? So basically, with that that is just the requirements of DCR loan is cash flow, asset loan, but it's a debt service coverage ratio. 
Yeah, so basically, the, uh, it's a debt service coverage ratio. And if you have a low credit score, you're probably going to have your debt service coverage ratio kind of in the tools. It's probably a 2.4, or, you know, 3.0. versus the higher credit score, you'll probably be at a 1.1 or 0.5 or anywhere from 1.2 based on the federal reserve. Okay. So what about people, right? They got they got short term rentals, Airbnbs and shit, cash flowing, right? Um, would that would that be a good a good move for them? So basically, um, it definitely be a good move for them. Uh, but it, they definitely want to do it in a market that's hot, uh, vacation market somewhere like Atlanta, Vegas, Miami, not New York. They're not uh, they're not you know dealing with Airbnbs right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you say you say what cities? I would say Miami. For sure. Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Las Vegas, Miami, Atlanta. Because you don't want to do California because they rent some rules is real uh, kind of lean to where basically you, 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 a tenant might book your um, Airbnb for a month and you might end up, they might end up living in your Airbnb for about 12 months. Yeah, that's Ain't a fact. Nowhere. That's a fact. So stay away from Cali. Now check this out, man. That's what I'm, I'm telling you guys. Listen. Start getting your, your short-term rentals, right, so you can start getting that cash flow so that you can be able to secure your DSCR loans, right? Income-based loan. Now, I, it talk to me about the entrepreneur loan because I'm giving them the game by the entrepreneur the loan too, right? Um, statement loan. So talk to me about that. And I'm going to get them a lender too so, you know, they're going to be locked out of the way in. Okay. So basically, we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the entrepreneur loan, basically, a.k.a. Uh, non-QM loan, basically that's a non-qualified mortgage loan, basically which is a bank statement loan. Basically what they want basically is about 12 months uh, bank statements, anywhere from 12 to 24 months bank statements only, and that's basically on your monthly income going through your bank statements. That's, that's usually for entrepreneurs um, that are showing a lot of profit loss on their banks on their uh, tax returns. So basically, uh, let's just say you're an entrepreneur and, um, you know, you file your own taxes, sole proprietor, basically uh, self-employed, but you wrote, you had a lot of write-offs. So basically, you have no uh, income. Like, you do have income, but you don't, you wrote a lot of things off. You're in the red, not the green, as far as positive income. So basically, they're going to use your bank statements as far as cash flow to approve you on these non-QM loans, you know, bank statement loans, right? Heavy. Um, AKA entrepreneur loans. So what they do is giving that, giving y'all the game, giving y'all the game, right? Non QM loans, entrepreneur loans, right? Something that a lot of people don't consider, because a lot of y'all, right? Check this out, Shark. A lot of them want to go get these three, four million dollar houses, trying to go get a jumbo loan, not even knowing that the bank is not gonna approve them for that. They, they gotta go pretty much non QM. 100%. So basically, you can, uh, uh, in non QM loans, you can get approved from anywhere from 5 to 20%, depending on the loan value, uh, and depending on the the area, depending on your, you know, the cash flow. You can, you know, you can get a one to four unit, or you can go ahead and get your own personal property, or like I said, you can get your rental property through using that uh, non QM entrepreneur loan however you want to call it, but usually the bank refers it to as a non-QM loan, non-qualified mortgage. So, uh, which of that being said, they basically just want to see anywhere from 12 to 24 months worth of bank statements. Um, and these are for the entrepreneurs that usually have a lot of cash or just have a lot of write-offs, you know, either or. But it, it definitely will get you in there, and you can also, you know, use a credit card, you know, based on your boy income, can go ahead and get you funded. So you can go ahead and put the down payment down for that type of loan. Hey, check it out, man. I go by the name of Income Cam. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now. Check it out. I drop a lot of gems on this channel, so make sure you hit that notification bell, right? You want to be notified when I drop game on this channel, right? Like I said, I go by the name of Income Cam. Follow me on Instagram at Income Cam, my official and only Instagram, right? It's a lot of imposters out there, so make sure you're following the. Uh, Official Instagram, right, for Income Cam. Um, and you definitely want to tap in for, you know, my Instagram lives. I do 5 a.m. lives sometime. And, you know, I tap in with the Elite One Percenters, which we call the 5 a.m.ers. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you lock in and join upyourincome.net, the number one financial community in the world. And trust me, it's over 50 courses inside 
showing you how to level up your financial status in 2023, 2024, and beyond. So make sure you tap in today, all right? Tap in. Trust me, it's a million dollars worth of game, all right? Now today, um, I'm going to be covering something I've been talking about with um, acquiring short-term rental properties right now. A lot of people want to get into real estate, right? So I'm going to cover a little bit, you know, about my take on real estate, how I feel like you could jump into real estate and become a real estate tycoon by using short-term rental properties, right? So we're going to talk a little bit about how to acquire properties, right? What type of properties I like and, you know, some that you should be looking at and how to secure that bag, right? And literally start a seven-figure business in real estate with owning properties but cash flow on them, right? So um, now... I get on Instagram Live and I've been covering this, right? A lot of people, you know, that's been following me know I love short-term rentals. I love short-term rentals. And what I mean by short-term rentals are short-term property rentals, right? So Airbnbs, right? Your um, your vacation homes, your villas, right? And a lot of people want to get in the real estate game. They want to get in the short-term rental game, but they don't know how. I put out a video showing you how to literally secure that bag um, with short-term rentals. I cover Booking.com, Expedia, um, host away um i mean i covered a lot right on the last video so if you want to go click above right here and you'll be able to go check that video out and see exactly what i had to say about you know scaling the airbnb business but a lot of people ask me cam like how do i get into the property right should i be renting the property should i be buying the property right and i'm gonna cover both sides right so first i'm gonna talk a little bit about renting properties right now it's a lot of properties you can rent when people are going into Airbnbs and short-term rentals and trying to start an Airbnb business, the first thing they don't have set up is an LLC or a corporation. That's the first thing you want to set up, right, in your business bank account, right? Reason being, um, when you start making money with your short-term rental, what you want to do is make sure those funds are going into a business bank account. It's going to help you tremendously down the road, whether you're trying to get loans, secure funding, revenue-based funding, or even statement loans, right? So, yeah, statement loans are a thing, and I'm going to cover that as well on how you can secure a statement loan, right? Crazy thing is, right, um, a lot of people want to get into, you know, um, high-cost high houses, right? Houses that are, you know, 4 or $5 million. And banks don't traditionally finance houses that are 4 or $5 million. Like, we just secured one, but it requires an entrepreneur loan, right, or a statement loan, right? And that's really the most effective route to go, right? Jumbo loans don't even, you know, help you secure $5 million properties. It's a specialty loan. It's a different type of financing, right? Another thing that you want to consider is DSCR loans, right? And I've been talking about that on my Instagram Live, right? DSCR loan. What is a DSCR, DSCR loan? A DSCR loan is a mortgage loan for a residential income-producing property. It is primarily based on debt service coverage ratio or the cash flow or property rather than the borrower's income. A traditional mortgage loan will require verification, tax returns, and debt-to-income ratio, right? So check it out. A DSCR loan doesn't require any of them. So um, make sure you check it out, right? You can go on Google, literally, and get a lot of information about DSCR loans. If you're trying to get into Airbnb, short-term rental, you're looking to buy properties, right? DSCR loans may be the route to go there. Now, they normally require about a 20% down payment, right? And the same thing with entrepreneur statement loans, right? Whether Whichever one you want to call it, an entrepreneur loan or a statement loan, you can get those with a 20% down payment. Now, I've definitely told you guys how to secure the 20% down by leveraging credit partners or even if you have a credit repair agency, right? How to turn your clients into investors or you just may have, you know, you and your homeboys and your friends, y'all want to get into these type of properties, all of y'all need to come together, maximize your approvals, build up a crowdfunding pile. A lot of these developers, right, they are using crowdfunding, right? A lot of them, they're not using just one, you know, one person's income or one source of income. They're leveraging a lot of different sources of income, right? And I even said that on my Instagram, right? I'm using, you know, I'm turning credit to cash, but leveraging credit to purchase income producing or cash flowing properties, right, to be able to build wealth and get into cars like this and, basically live financially free and you could do the same thing as well now i know traditionally a lot of people you know you think about fha loans which is good as well or conventional loans which is good as well but you want to consider dscr loans and um statement loans or entrepreneur loans so i'm gonna put some links below i'm gonna direct you to um, my entrepreneur um loan broker and she can definitely help you 
secure properties. Whether you want to get into a property, it may be 500,000, 1.5 million, 2 million, even up to $10 million. Then you can do that, right? With 20% down, right? So tap into upyourincome.net where I show you exactly how you can leverage age corporations, how to leverage credit partners and build up that, you know, capital to be able to secure those type of properties, right? And then once you get those properties, start cash flowing them. Once you're cash flowing them, now you're, you're into building wealth. Um, I want you guys to look at something, right? Grant Cardone. A lot of people know Grant Cardone, right? And Grant Cardone is, you know, pretty much known for real estate, but multi-families. Even if you pay attention to his model, right? His model was always finding investors, right? And that's how you guys got to think too, right? When I'm talking about multi-family homes or multi-family properties, right? When I'm talking about apartment complexes, right? You got to understand that you got to build up an investment pot crowdfund, right? That's how he's doing this crowdfunding, looking for investors, right? Obviously, he's SEC compliant. He has partnership agreements in place, investor agreements in place, and you will need that as well. And that's why I was telling you guys um, on a couple videos ago about tapping into my mentorship where I literally show you how to do it, show you how I build up a $6 million investment and put it into cash flowing properties, right? Airbnb, short-term rental in Miami. You can literally automate this, right? One property can make you thirty, forty thousand dollars a month, twenty, thirty thousand dollars a month, depending on the city that it's in and understanding the market, right? I like Miami, right? Miami is great. Now that's for buying properties. Now you can also rent properties, right? If you ever been in Miami, you may have heard of Icon Brickle, right? Icon Brickle, you can acquire a property in Tower Three, which they actually allow Airbnb. They allow short term rental in Tower Three in Miami at Icon, right? In Brickle. You can go on MiamiCondoInvestments.com, right? MiamiCondoInvestments.com. I'm going to put the link below. Um, search for um, Icon, right? In Brickle, Tower 3. Securing those properties, right? They have some on there that are 4000 5000 um, Getting those properties that, you know, will ultimately make you $10,000. i am sorry, $20,000, $25,000 a month, right? You can literally go to Icon, Icon in Brickle, and Tower 3 allows you to do Airbnb, right? So... That's something you can go tap into, right? If you want to go the rental route. And you can literally do that um, without actually being there. You can put it on autopilot, right? You can put automate that, just straight automate it. You can find people to check your um, guests in and out on Thumbtack or Upwork, right? Thumbtack is a great way to find um, people to manage your property and check your guests in and out. Turn OBNB, that's a way to find people to um, clean your property, right? So you could be... You know, in California and running a property in Miami by using Turno BNB or using um, Turno BNB, that, that allows people to clean it and automate it and it syncs the calendar in as well. Um, so, you know, your cleaners will know when somebody checks out and checks in. Um, and you can also use Thumbtack to check your guest in. So, using those two, right? You can even, you know, have properties anywhere remotely. You got properties that you can secure all around the world, whether you're using Yale, um, Smart Locks, you can use Smart Locks like Yale. Um, and, you know, provide them with a key code to get in and out and hire somebody to clean it, you know, so it's automated, right? And you can scale up to 10, 20 properties. So when you're thinking multi-unit, right, or multi-family, or you're trying to get multiple properties, that is going to help you scale faster than anything, right? If you can secure one, you can secure, you can secure 10, right? If you got 10 properties that are doing you $20,000 a month, then that's $200,000 a month. So it's really easy, right? A lot of you guys just think it's hard or harder than what it is, and it's really not. Right, you can even take, you know, twenty thousand. Right, twenty thousand. Get your first two properties or first three properties, and you can rent those. The best way to go about renting properties is going through private own. Right, once you got your LLC and corporation set up, and then you can go to Fiverr and get a business plan. Right, and be able to propose that to um, a landlord or a private owner. Right, and let them know, hey, I'm trying to use this property to cash flow it. Right. And show them, hey, these are my projections. This is what I bring in. Let them know that you're coming in professional. You have cleaners set up. You have someone that's going to manage it. And let them, you know, feel comfortable about, you know, renting their home to you. Basically subleasing it so that you can make money from it, right? So that's a great way to go about it. Or just acquiring them, right? I like to actually buy them, right? So you can go anywhere in the world, right? You guys got to start getting your passports. And using those passports instead of just going on vacations, use those passports to go secure a vacation, right? Go get some income prop income producing properties some short-term rental properties people travel out of time Turks and Caicos you can go to Cancun Tulum Cabo San, San Lucas right you got so many places around the world that you can be leveraging 
instead of going vacation route, let me think, okay, let me go secure some income producing properties out there, right? You can even get loans, right? Construction perm loans build, right? I told you guys, like, you got to come in and start thinking on a bigger level, right? Start thinking bigger. Okay, I want to get into real estate and it's easy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are sitting on the gold mine right now. You, your homeboy, your homegirl, your friends, your uncles, your cousin. Leverage those credit partners to secure funding, right? Now you got 100K or 200K and you got your 10 to 20%, 15% down for your statement loan or your um, entrepreneur loan or your DSCR loan so you can secure these income producing properties, right? So make sure you tap in, guys. I'm going to actually show you guys a property that I just secured. We're going to go slide by, look at the property I just secured. And I'm going to show you guys how you can actually turn that property into cash flow, right? So tap in. Let's get it. <music>